Steve, I'm here in Renton. This is one place where the weather can get 20 degrees hotter than what is forecasted, and it's because of things like this asphalt parking lots. Now this heat can create health hazards and experts say those could be avoided. This upcoming heat wave could mean some people will see temperatures double digits higher than what's being forecasted. The temperatures that you will experience will can vary dramatically based on where you live. The cause is your environment and how much heat it holds on to. Research from King County released today shows what are called urban heat islands. You can see them in red on this map, including much of South King County. We see that some areas hold on to that heat longer. And again, that's that function of that land use. Our more urbanized areas where we have more concrete, other you know, pavement, building and other hard surfaces really hold on to that heat into the evening. Looking at this map, what is significant about it as we head into what could be record breaking heat? Really this mapping exercise um, that the county has undertaken really shows where there are health disparities um, that are exacerbated by heat events. Addison Houston is with the Public Health Department. We need to take a look at the health implications of how we design and build our built environment. This includes looking at long-term strategies like adding more trees and spaces that provide shade, protecting urban green space and building smart like bus stops designed to keep people cool. If the heat's not going away, are you confident you can cool things down? It may show up with uh, lower temperatures on the map. It may show up with fewer people seeking medical services when we get heat events. And the plan right now is for the county to do some additional analysis of this data. They then plan to take it to those cities and start taking action. One goal the county has right now is to plant 3 million trees by 2025. Live in Renton, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.